Did you know that with several images you can create a stunning photo art in Photoshop? In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to achieve that in just a few simple steps. Let's get straight to it. First thing we want to do is to create a new project. And for this project, we are going to be doing 800 by 800 pixels. And we will leave our resolution at 300. And once that is created, first thing we want to do is to go to our view panel and there we are going to create a guide outline now the guide outline is there are imagine there are a set of imaginary lines that are going to help you to be able to place your images in some specific positions on your canvas so to create that when you click on the new guides layout you can create the number of columns you want and the number of rows you want so the columns usually are this vertical lines while the rows are the horizontal lines. So I'm going to create eight this way and eight this way and for the gutters I'm just going to create eight percent of each. So the gutters are the spaces in between the vertical and horizontal lines like these double lines here. These gutters are the spaces in between them. So once that is created I'm just going to click on OK and now I'm going to begin by creating different shapes like these square shapes on which I'm going to add my images later. So to do that, I'm just going to select my rectangle shape tool and maybe change the color to a blue color. And I'm just going to create a square like this. And once that square is created, I'm going to duplicate this square and move it to several portions of this um, canvas which we are going to use later to add our images so I'm just going to press ctrl j and i move this to this position ctrl j and i move this to this position you see that this space now in between these squares have been created by this gutter we created when we were creating the layouts for our guides so i'm just going to duplicate this and duplicate this like this so I'm actually going to speed up this part so we don't spend so much time on the video okay once we have created all of this what we need to do now is to add our images to these squares that we can see so i'm just going to create click on the square once i click on it i'll go to where my images are found and i'll just drag the images and drop into the design so i'll just navigate to where i find those images this is the first image i want to use so i'll just drag this and drop into photoshop like this and i'll reposition this making sure that i have selected the square at the position where i want it to be then i'm going to create a clipping mask like that once it is clipped to it i'll just press ctrl t reduce the size like this so i'm just going to place this here then i click on the next square i go again to my source where my images are found just drag a drop like this so when I drag and drop reposition and then I'll hold my R to option key in between the two layers and I'll click to create a clipping mask ctrl T reduce the size like this and so for this you want to make the faces look similar in size so just adjust like this okay click on the next one just drag and drop the next image just like that once I drop it I'm just going to create a clipping mask to this ctrl T and I reduce the size like this
so it's practically the same thing that I'm going to be doing throughout so at this point I'm just going to speed up the tutorials in order not to make the video long okay once your images have all been imported and well placed like this what you want to do now is to select all the layers and when you select all the layers you go right down to the end just select everything and group so i'll press ctrl after selecting the first one at the top then i'll hold shift and i click on this last one and everything is selected and i'll just take group like that and on this group i'm going to add a layer mask so since we are trying to create um the 2024 text what i'm going to do right now is to hide this for now and i'll type in 2024 now you want to select a font that is bold and big enough so i'm just going to use this i'll type 20 first and just press ctrl t Ctrl T for transform and I increase the size to this and I make sure it's really big like like something like this and I want it to feel the area where all the shapes were found so I want to create something like this okay once that is done I'm going to enable this layer back and I can still reposition it to something like this let me just say i leave it at this position okay once that is done what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to make a selection of this 20 text how will i make that selection when i make the selection i'm going to apply the selection to this mask and i'm going to mask out the part of that selection which i don't want to see so what i'm going to do now is to make the selection of this 20 text i'm going to press ctrl or command on my keyboard and I come to where this thumbnail is and I click within. Once I do that, a selection of this 20 text has been made. So I'm going now to click on this mask. This mask has been applied on this um, our grid which we created already. So I'm going to select this mask. Once I select this mask, I'm going now to go to select up here and I invert to invert the selection so that whatever color I apply will be applied to this other part the outer part so what I'm going to fill this um, selection with now is going to be a black color so I'm just going to fill this with a black color by holding um, alt or option on my keyboard and pressing the backspace button since my foreground color here is black so I'm just press alt or option on my keyboard and press backspace once that is done everything is wiped out so all I need to do now is just to hide this 20 text layer here and once that is hidden you can now deselect everything and you see your 20 text has been created okay so once this is created the next thing we want to do is to create the 24 text since we want to create 2024 so what we are going to do now is we will create a copy of this ctrl j and once we create the copy what we are going to do now is we will fill this uh, mask layer with white like that once we fill it with white it's complete everything has been reviewed again so we now come to this text layer up here where we have our 20 we change this to 24 so i'm just going to select this and i press 4 and once that is selected 24 i'm going to make a selection of the 24 again and i come on this layer mask area go to select inverse to invert it once it is inverted i'm going to fill this with black once i fill that with black my 2024 has been created i just need to hide this and hide the one behind and we now see that 
our 2024 text has been created so we have two layers to work with so right now what we just need to do is to create a new project file and for this we are going to be using 1920 by 1080 and our resolution will remain um, 300 pixels and once that is created we will just create a background so for this i'm just going to create a background I'll go to gradients select a blue background something like this and okay now i'm just going to go back to my project file here i'm going to drag in select my 20 text drag it and i drop on my project just like this select ctrl t and i increase the size to this i position it somewhere here and i go back again to this source file control i drag in the 24 text and i bring into my project like that ctrl t increase the size to something like this so to ensure that everything is well aligned i'm just going to create some guides at the top here now create another guide at the bottom so that everything fits within these guides so i'm just going to use um ctrl c increase this make sure it fits on exactly on this guide like this and then i go to my 2024 text ctrl c increase it and make sure it fits on this line and it snaps there like that okay so once that is done i'll just select both layers ctrl c then i reduce their sizes a little something like this and now i can now create a space in between the text something like this okay once that is created the next thing i did was to create um a reflection and shadows beneath so i'm just going to go to this twin c text here ctrl j convert it to a smart object once it is converted to a smart object i'll control i'll click ctrl t for transform and i'll flip it vertically like that and i just move it down below and make sure it snaps exactly beneath the other and once that is done i'll just create a clipping mask to it now use uh, my gradient tool and i'll just create a gradient from below like that and i'll just do the same thing for 2024 for 24 sorry ctrl j convert to smart object once it's converted to a smart object i'm going to flip it vertically like that bring it below position it exactly beneath this and i'll add a mask to it and i use my gradient tool like this to create a reflection below and now i'm just going to create shadows I'm going to create some shadows i'll just create a new layer like this and the black color i'll just paint here ctrl c transform and reduce the size like this modify the size like this okay if you enjoyed this video please do well to like click on the like button subscribe to my channel share this video with others so that they too can learn and benefit from this technique so i'll just create a copy once that copy was created i'll just move it like that reduce the size something like this ctrl j ctrl j undo go to the 
shadow layer control t and I'll move it here for this one I'm going to increase its size like this position it there then control J oops make sure you select just the shadow layer control T reduce the size to something like this I reduce it here and I position it here like that then the next thing I want to do now is to add some light to the images to make sure that everything is looking good so I'm just going to add a curves adjustment layer on it I'm brightening it up like this make sure you you clip this so I'm clipping this curves adjustment layer on this 20 20 part like the 20 part once I do that maybe I increase it up a little again and I'll come to the blending options by double clicking on this layer and I come here to this underlying layer here now just separate this uh, slider like that split it together once you split that it makes sure that the effect you've applied is applied just on the bright areas of the image so that's it I'll just Control J copy the effect and I'll put it on above the 24 part of the text so I'm just going to go here and I clip it like that you now see this is the before and this is the after you see it now makes it pop more so you can do that depending on your taste so there are a lot of other things you can do you can actually even use um, a shape you can use a custom shape for this you can use text you can type out a text like you saw in the display of this video at the beginning so whatever you want to do you can use this technique to achieve so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please do well to support me by liking if you are not yet a subscriber hit the subscribe button share this video with other creatives so that they can get to learn from this channel as well thank you for watching see you in my next video